Hello, welcome to Maths Kitchen. Today we're looking at all things to do with circle theorems and we're going to do it in under four minutes. There are practice questions for this as well as loads of other maths GCSE stuff at mathskitchen.com. Right, the language of circles. So that orange line there highlighted is the circumference of a circle. It's just the distance around the circle. An arc is just a part of the circumference of a circle. A chord is a straight line that connects two points on the circumference. It's just a straight line going across your circle. And the chord creates two segments. You can see them highlighted in blue there. Subtend is this word we use quite a lot in circle theorems and it just means to create an angle at a particular point. You can see that angle on the circumference there highlighted in orange has been subtended from those two blue points. Those two blue points are either end of an arc so we could say that it is the angle subtended at the circumference by an arc. Right then, theorem number one. The angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. So this angle at the center here will always be double the angle at the circumference there. And that is the case even if the angle on the circumference moves around like it is there. Theorem number two, angles in the same segment are equal. Any angle created or subtended from those same two points will always be the same size as long as they're in the same segment of the circle. In other words, the same side of those two points on the circumference. Theorem number three, the angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So if we have a triangle where one of the sides of the triangle is the diameter of the circle, just like we've got there, then the angle created at the circumference will always be a right angle. Theorem number four, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. Well, first of all, a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral where all four vertices or corners are touching the circumference of a circle. And if you have a cyclic quadrilateral, then the opposite angles will add to 180 degrees, just as these ones here are showing. Okay, tangents. A tangent is just a line touching the circumference of a circle. You can see an example there. And if you take a line from the center of the circle, in other words, a radius, it will meet the tangent at 90 degrees. Tangents that meet at a point are equal in length. If you take two tangents from the circle and they meet up at a point as they do here on the right hand side, those two lines will always be the same length. Alternate segment theorem, the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. That's a bit of a mouthful, but it just means that this angle will be equal to this angle. I think of it as the angle inside the triangle is equal to the angle opposite and on the outside. So I think inside, opposite, outside. Finally, isosceles triangles, it's not a theorem, it's just worth noting that if you have a triangle where two sides come from the center of the circle to the circumference, then you've got an isosceles triangle and those two angles at the base will be equal to each other. That is everything you need to know about circle theorems. Don't forget to go and practice those at mathskitchen.com.